What's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Today we're going to learn how to use animation keyframe in Filmora 14. Okay, so we will learn how to add animation keyframe, how to delete the keyframes, and also how to adjust the keyframe to have some kind of animation for our image, text, and video. Okay, so with Filmora 14, you can add animation keyframe to your image, your text, and video. So we can make them screen down like this or make them move from left to right, right to left kind of stuff like that to be honest I feel a little bit nervous when using the animation keyframe in Filmora 14 now before it was super easy just add the keyframe scale it down and make it move from left to right, right to left and stuff like that but now we can control the ease in, ease out, linear or curve hopefully I can explain everything so that you understand about the animation keyframe in Filmora 14 by the way it is November now so it is Black Friday if you want to purchase the license of Filmora don't forget to buy it right now so you can save your money with Black Friday deals from Wondershare I will put the link in the description for you okay so let's go to my computer screen okay so this is my Filmora 14 and actually I'm trying to create some crazy thing with the animation keyframe but you can see that it it is just very complicated okay disappear appear and move and something like that but uh, let's delete everything on the timeline so you can see it better okay so first thing first you can add a text into your video and you can add animation keyframe for example we have a text here I can add a quick text and now I can put it right here so this is text here so first up it would be like this so the first option is to add keyframe to a text on the timeline. So here is the text on the timeline and we can click this button to add keyframe. Okay, we have some keyboard shortcut like and left click or stuff like that. But I don't think it's necessary to use a shortcut to add keyframe. For example, at this position, I can make the text like this so I can add a keyframe. So this is the ending point or ending keyframe for the text. And we can move the playhead to the beginning like this. And then we can move the text to left or right or bottom or top. Or we can reduce the opacity or stuff like that. So we add the first keyframe. So the second and the first keyframe. So it is two keyframe to create one animation. Okay. So at this position, we can shrink the text down like this. So we have the first keyframe and the second keyframe so the first keyframe it disappear and screen down so at the ending keyframe it will appear at the center of the screen something like this okay so let's play the video for you just start from small to big nice right and if we want to control the speed of the animation we can adjust the keyframe distance so this is the first one and this is the second one if we click here and move it to the right it will slower the animation something like this okay so this is how you can add an animation keyframe to your text and you can do the same for video and image for image and video, you can do the same. For example, this is the image. We can add the keyframe for this image on the timeline. And here at the beginning of the image, we can reduce the opacity to zero at this position. Now we create a fade-in effect for the image like this. And we can adjust the distance of the keyframe to make it slower, like two seconds. Okay, and here's the effect. And after that, we can screen down the image and move it to the right with the animation keyframe. So we can add another keyframe at this position. And then add another keyframe at this position. We can string it down with the scale. And then we can move it to the right with this one. X position. Okay, and here's the effect for the image. Nice, right? 
and for the video we can do the same by the way you can also copy and paste the keyframe for example i can copy the keyframe from this image by right click and select copy keyframe and then i can paste it right here at the video but we we'll talk about this later in the tutorial okay so we have a button here paste keyframe okay and we can hide the image and now we see the keyframe on the video okay let's come back to my tutorial so this is the first way is to click here at this animation keyframe and there is another way this is the another keyframe button okay so if you click at the transform tab here you have some option to add keyframe 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 so these are the keyframe okay for example here at the center i can move the text a little bit so i can add another keyframe right here with this button scale okay and then i can move my playhead to here and then i can adjust the scale something like this so we have we have four keyframe on the timeline right and we can play to see the animation so that's interesting right so we can add keyframe from the button right here on top of the timeline or we can add keyframe here at the transform tab so you click video basic and then transform and then you can add animation keyframe by the way you can also adjust the opacity of the text or the video or the image also here we have compositing so we have opacity and it has a keyframe option here also for example here i add one keyframe and here i can reduce the opacity to zero and now we have the animation keyframe like this it disappear okay so this is how you can add animation keyframe to your text and next up if you want to delete all the keyframe you can just select it on the timeline and then you can right click and select delete keyframe and you can see here delete all keyframe or copy keyframe or select all keyframe if you want to select all the keyframe here just click select all keyframe and then you can right click again and copy the keyframe what is the use of the copy if you want to create one animation keyframe and copy and paste it to another text or another image that is the copy keyframe function okay for example i can copy the keyframe and then i can add another text here on the timeline but i will put it right here okay and then i can right click here at the text box on the timeline and paste the keyframe okay and we have another keyframe like this so it will copy the keyframe from last tag box to the new one okay so that is how to add keyframe and adjust the keyframe such as deleting the keyframe and copy the keyframe but in Fimora 14 there is a keyframe panel we can adjust the ease in and ease out and also adjust the curve of the keyframe and the keyframe path or stuff like that to access that keyframe panel you need to select the subject here on the timeline and you see a small button here so this is the keyframe panel okay just click here and you will see a keyframe panel like this okay and now we have a transform and compositing and also we have a line here to control all the keyframe if you want to have ease in and ease out effect we can select all the keyframe here on this timeline okay and then we can select ease in and ease out it will smooth the animation okay so we can play again something like that and if you want to adjust the animation part you can do it right here also for example if you want to go from point a to point b it will be like this this is linear and if you want to go in a curve like this it will be curve or continuous curve okay so you can adjust it right here with this small dot something like this and you can click here and then adjust the curve so it will go like this not just from a to b in a straight line it will go in a curve line okay so we can play and see the text here 
Okay, so while editing my video, I think it is a little bit complicated when I explain about the path curve and the effect for the animation. So I decided to make a new explanation for you. For example, here is the image that we add some animation keyframe and you can see that it is not moving straight from point A to point B, but it's moved like a zigzag or a curve like this. So this is path curve and we can enable and disable it by double click at the image or video on the timeline and you see this is a path curve. So if we enable it, we will see the, the line here. So if we enable it, so you see here, it go from here to here and here and here and then go to point A, uh, point B, I'm sorry. And you can also adjust the image here during the part so that you can add animation keyframe. For example, we can play the image like this, moving. Okay, so at this position, I don't want to be at this position, I want to be here. So I can click at the preview window here and then I can move the image to here. So you see that it will move from point A to this position and then to this position and move back to this position and move up and then move to point B. So this is a new animation keyframe. We can play again to see. Something like that, but this is just linear movement. So if you want to add ease in and ease out and stuff like that, you need to open the keyframe panel. So this is the keyframe panel or the keyframe control windows. So we can just click here and then we need to open a new window. So we can click this button on the right side of the window. And you see this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe. You can select both of them by press and hold your control key and left click at the keyframe. And you have some option here. This is linear and this is curve and this is continuous curve. This is continuous curve and this is free and this is ease in and this is ease out. So ease in and ease out are the most common used animation effect in video editing. Okay, we can select ease in and ease out for both and then we can play. So now the image will start slowly from here and move fast forward here and to here, to here and here, and then finally slowly move to point B. So we can play the video and see the animation. All right, so that's everything you want to know about how to use animation keyframe in Filmora 14. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, just hit the like button. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.